on the menu today is teriyaki wings and these are the ingredients starting off with the chicken at the bottom left going on it's uh, brown sugar balsamic vinegar teriyaki sauce soy sauce garlic powder black pepper and that little nugget you're looking at that's ginger all right so we started off by chopping up the chicken they were whole wings I chopped them up I kept the little retarded pieces on the end because I like the little retarded piece that's just me though you can chop it off if you want anyways we're gonna make the marinating sauce you'll need a half a cup of water and then you can add all the ingredients uh, start with a uh, one-fourth of a cup of brown sugar add some balsamic vinegar the garlic powder the teriyaki sauce and the soy sauce for anything that's liquid you want to add around two and a half teaspoons if you want to add more of the teriyaki sauce that's completely up to you now the teriyaki sauce and the soy sauce are reduced sodium reduced calories I know people are gonna get at me regardless but it's all good this shit tastes good as fuck and you need to give it a try mix everything up whisk it with a fork or with a whisk whatever and pour it over the chicken get your hands up in there mix that chicken up get a piece of aluminum foil after you mix it up cover it put it into the fridge and marinate it for minimum 45 minutes you could marinate it overnight or half the day whatever I marinated for a total of two hours but once you get it out put it into an oven tray pour it all into an oven tray separate them give them some space to breathe uh, preheat your oven to 375 degrees I already went ahead and did that and just pop your tray into the oven and bake now the amount of time that you're gonna bake it at is gonna be 40 to 45 minutes and during that time you want to be really vigilant of what's going on you don't want it to burn remember sugar caramelizes quickly and it will burn and then it'll be sticking to the pan to the aluminum foil wherever you're baking it on and who really wants to eat burnt ass wings nobody wants to eat burnt food period all right anyways um flip them you're gonna have to flip them 25 minutes in bake it for 25 minutes take it out and flip them to the other side you'll see that they're already starting to gather some nice color and just just flip them and you're gonna bake them for another 15 to 20 minutes all right so after those 15 to 20 minutes of course like I said you're keeping your eye on it once that you're gonna make sure that that sauce doesn't fully evaporate because then it will start to burn and stick after those 15 20 minutes like I said take them back out flip them again you can turn the heat off and after you flip them just pop them back in and as you see when I bring them out and I'm flipping them for the second time they are already nice and crispy on one side and that's what you want for the other side for the original side that was cooked alright this tastes amazing guys please believe me alright I'll show you what my plate looks like I just had it with some carrot sticks once again, I didn't have no celery sticks. Um, I gotta go get some. I'll probably get some later on today. Some reduced fat, reduced calories, blue cheese, and there you go. That's it. Hope you enjoyed the recipe, guys. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. Show me some love in the comment section. Y'all hold it down.